What is context? So context is a space or place from which you're coming to deal with whatever issue you're dealing with. It's kind of invisible, but it doesn't mean it's not real. In fact, it's one of the most real things you'll deal with in life because it's what you can create or not create. There's a distinction in context. There's the default context and there's the created context. So default contexts are things that we inherit. We inherit contexts like, hey, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, or it's a you-or-me you world, or it's a world in which I got to first take care of everything that's important to me and good luck for everybody else. Those are contexts. Sometimes we think them, but as contexts, we operate from them. It's what we're operating from as a view of life or a view of ourself that I'm referring to as context. The context is decisive. What does that mean? It means when you have context, your experience of life in that moment is actually given by the context. It means your actions in life, what you what you literally do or say or think, is given by that context. The context shapes and colors all of what you're dealing with in life, your experience of life. That's how powerful context is. So we inherit these contexts and we live in the world in the way we have been living in the world. You know, the world is a function of the context we all inherited, unexamined, but we're operating from. So the conflicts, the, the situation of the world, the difficulties in the world, can be seen as a function of the context that people have inherited from the past and they're bringing into the present. That's the default context. A created context is something that you literally create. You've examined for yourself the context that you're functioning from. You're examining whether they're something you choose or not. Maybe you inherit it, but now do I choose it? Do I choose this as my context for being in life? Um, and if you find that the context that you're functioning from is not the most empowering context, and it's leaving you with a loss of freedom to be and freedom to act, hey, let's get rid of that now. I'm not talking about positive thinking. This is not covering over nasty stuff with good thoughts. This is literally taking control of the context with which I'm dealing with life. So to make the point about the power of context, the influence that it has, I'm going to show you two slides. And the two slides really get across how critical context is. I'm going to read the first slide, and then I'm going to invite you to read the second slide. Slide one. A newspaper is better than a magazine. The seashore is a better place than a street. At first, it is better to run than to walk. You may have to try several times. It takes some skill, but it's easy to learn. Even young children can enjoy it. Once successful, complications are minimal. Birds seldom get too close. Rain, however, soaks in very fast. Too many people doing the same thing can cause problems. One needs lots of room. If there are no complications, it can be very peaceful. A rock will serve as an anchor. If things break loose from it, however, you will not get a second chance. I suspect that the paragraph made little or no sense for you. On the next slide, you'll see the paragraph again. Please read it to yourself and see what you make of it this time. So one word, the word kite, shifted the whole material that was there. Everything that didn't make sense now makes complete sense. It's just one word. That's the power of context. One of the opportunities that this worldwide 
crisis presents us with is examining the context with which we're dealing with each other, with our relationships, our communities, our society. You know, are the contexts that we're coming from into the world as human beings really empowering us? One of the opportunities of the virus is uncovering the context that haven't served us. You know, we try to do it, the United States tries to do it all by itself, China's doing it all by itself, Britain is doing it all by itself, all the countries are dealing with it by themselves. But wouldn't it be more powerful if we actually worked all together to deal with it? I mean, that's starting to become apparent to people, that we are social beings, and our lives are given by our relationship to each other as human beings. So, there's an opportunity here. Doesn't look like that at the moment, but this will pass. And the question is, who are we going to be in the matter of life going through it and coming out of it and then moving forward?